Here's my 2023 EV6 in the United States. This is the stock operation with the harness not installed, showing the turn signals and the stop lamps share the same assemblies and they combine the signals. This shows the only part of the install that requires modification of the vehicle itself for my harness. This is the ICU slash fuse box right here. And then we're going to be modifying this right hand connector, not really the connector, but connecting wires to it. Uh, so you click on this little tab up here and the connector comes out. And I've already connected it on my car, but here you can see the two quick taps and those are for the two clean turn signal signals um, from the ICU. Usually they're combined with the stop lamp and turn signal for the back, but I found these wires here that connect to the mirrors that are just turn signal. So I tap those two wires, and then after you do that, you can go ahead and plug it back in. The install process for the intercept harness on the driver's side tail lamp. It's the same for both sides, but I'll show both sides. Currently it's in the stock setup, just like I had shown in the previous part of this video. Go ahead and unplug the original stop lamp from the harness and then find the other side of this harness which is mine and this plugs into the stock system and then i've got these two extra pigtails here one is for the turn signal go ahead and plug that in and then the other one is for the stop lamp go ahead and plug that in and you can just stuff everything back there and that side is complete here is the passenger side install for the intercept harness. Currently it's set up in the stock configuration like I showed in the video. I'll go ahead and unplug the stop lamp, plug in my intercept harness, and then plug the turn signal into this one, plug the stop lamp into this one. This side is now complete all the harness it's quite simple you have to remove this threshold that goes between the two tail lamps underneath the tailgate door this is just held in by two plastic fasteners and it lifts out and I zip tied the harness underneath there this cargo panel will need to be not completely removed but loosened in order to give you enough space to route the wire uh, towards the front it's very easy to do and it pops right back into place Coming over here, this door threshold will have to be removed. It just pops out. Nothing has to be done with the door pillar uh, trim there. This is the next piece that has to be removed, the driver's side door threshold. This just pops out as well. And then this knee panel or kick panel uh, trim will need to be removed as well. It pops out and rotates uh, away from the knob. That allows the harness to be routed from the back of the car to the front of the car and allows you to get connections for the turn signal wires here. As you can see, the harness is installed and I have my hazards turned on. They both look absolutely amazing. They are very bright in person and they both match perfectly. Now in the EU, when the hazards are activated, the sequential operation is stopped and they just flash on and off. I am in the process of fixing that issue with these, but other than that, the operation is normal how they operate in the EU.